What's going on? It's your boy Ozzy Oz, representing our pure lava show. You know, commenting in and everything on YouTube, definitely. I got to say, what's up to Quincy, representing out of Texas. He gave me a call yesterday, and a few other people gave me a call because they wanted me to comment on, on the TI situation. It's one of the big talks in the Midwest and East West Coast. Um, one of the big talk, TI being arrested. He had millions of fans that love him, and they just shot. The fact that he would get himself involved in buying illegal firearms, especially assault rifles and powerful handguns. And um, all I know is, like, from the little bit of information that I received, it, it, is that um, he attempted to buy these firearms through um, his body, bodyguard, and uh, a, basically his thing operation went down, and, and he's he's involved in it. The, the um, ATF is um, doing an investigation on the situation, which is the alcohol, tobacco, um, firearm agents, um, and it's still an ongoing investigation, so they're not releasing that much information, so we have to wait until it gets to the courts, because there's only two sides to the story. That's basically what it is. It's two sides to the story, so we all know that. But so far, they um, they did a search on his um, on the premises of uh, in his house and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's little talks on the street, like little information that people telling me from off the streets, like in the Midwest and also the West Coast, was that um, little Flip was involved in it somehow, you know, giving information or encouraging the situation. Or, but I don't know. We don't know the facts, and I'm about knowing the facts. That's that's what I'm about. Um, my opinion on it basically is that it's, it's all stupid. I can't believe T.I. would get involved and get in a situation. If he felt like his life was so much threatened, he should have had the appropriate um, security, especially a head of security. Head of security um, would be the person that will coordinate if you go on tour in different states because every state has a policy about handguns. So every, it, a head of security would have coordinated a situation like when he goes on tour to hire people in that state to protect him, you know. Also, when it comes down to your own premises, of course, you got to hire the appropriate security to make sure that you you safeguard. No reason to get involved with buying illegal handguns, you know. And it's a shame. It's a shame that he have to go through this. You know, his lawyer they tried to present to the judge um, two million dollar bail and um, house arrest. They, the judge said no because the uh, the the weapons that he's 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 tried to buy. First of all, assault rifles are very illegal. Um, they trying to charge for each um, firearm ten years, ten years, and even if he have a good lawyer and get off, they said the minimum time he's gonna get is ten years. So let's say if he has six firearms, you're talking about sixty years. But if he have a good lawyer, he could get ten years. Ten years is a lot of time. Two days is a lot of time to be in jail, because you have no freedom. Anytime you you don't have no freedom and your freedom is taken away, it's like going through hell. And we don't know what hell is going to, but so we could say it's like going through the worst thing that you can imagine, just being locked up, nothing. Somebody tell you when to wake up, somebody tell you when to go to bed, somebody tell you when to eat. Ain't can't have no, you know, no, your, your woman can't be near you or anything like that. It's a, see, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And T.I., I mean, I, I just feel bad for him because he has some endorsements, he has some... Um, movie deals on the table. He had a lot of good things going for him. He made millions of dollars. And he should have had a positive. I'm not even gonna say. Well, I say he should have had the. You gotta be careful who you associate yourself around. And in your team, you're supposed to have the right people in your team when you're making money to keep you on track and encourage you to do the right thing. Not whispering in your ear, yo, we need to get some guns. We need to get a, like 30 pounds of weed, uh, 16 kilos of coke. You don't need people like that around you. That's where you came from. You came from the streets. You know what that's like. You see? And it all goes down to um, proving what I said before. It's like, there's no loyalty. You know what I mean? There's no, you have to do what you have to do and do it the right way and do it the proper way. You got to be careful about your association. People, this going everyday life, this has nothing to do with just the entertainment. It's just your life. You have to have the appropriate people around because when you go down and you're involved in something, it's just going to be you. And maybe your family is going to be the only one to stay by you. But them so-called friends that was there, that was encouraging you to do the wrong thing, they're not going to be around. They're not going to be there to help your family. They're not going to be there to do anything. You know? Anything. But say, man, it's messed up. It's messed up that, you know, this situation happened, you know? It's a messed up situation. You know? So, people, I mean, all we can do is learn from it. And for a lot of your hip-hop artists, yo, just to let y'all know something stop telling on yourselves you know how y'all telling yourselves y'all get on the videos and y'all start showing y'all weed you know of course that puts up a red, fl a red flag to you know law enforcement 
Oh, they got drugs. They carry it around drugs. Because you're telling them, you're, you're putting DVDs. you got weed in the camera. Or if you have beef with another hip-hop artist and you're trying to show how tough your hood is, you got your entourage and they firing handguns in the background. So you only drawing attention to yourself negatively. You, you're drawing that attention. So you trying to show a picture one way, but the picture reading somewhere else to somebody else that's looking at it, they... They had, that's information from them differently. So now law enforcement looks at it and say, wow, so these, this is what goes down. They got handguns in their team. They got drugs, illegal drugs in their team. Oh, we got to look into this. We got to start, you know, really getting real deep into this hip-hop thing. That's why you have the thing called the hip-hop police, which y'all call the hip-hop police. That's why. You're telling me yourselves. Common sense. Y'all don't see it? All right. Anyway, in any case, it's a mess up situation. I hope T.I. gets through it. And I hope he learns from it. Because I'm pretty sure he's crying in jail right now. I'm telling you. He's, he's crying, man. He, he's saying to himself, yeah, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I'm on top of the world. And now I'm like, look where I'm at. And he's probably thinking about every person that encouraged him to do something stupid. He said, yo. Dang, why, why did I listen to them? Why did I listen to so-and-so? I shouldn't even did. I knew I should have. Oh, man. So you have no choice but to blame yourself. You can't blame nobody, T.I. You gotta blame yourself. Yeah, you people, you have two choices in life. Either you go do go down this road, or you gonna go down that road. You have two choices in life. It's like good and bad. Choose the right one. Choose it. Me personally, I chose the right one. I've been on those two roads, but I chose the right one, the common sense one. You know. To keep moving forward as a man and being good. I'm good. I, I'm happy. I'm content. I'm happy. I enjoy what I do. I still deal with the entertainment. Thing. And I have a regular job. You know what I mean? My pride is something totally different. I've been down those roads. So that's why I could tell y'all out there. Yo, stay focused. Be careful about your association. Who's around you and stuff like that. If somebody encourage you to do negative or something like that. You know what? You need to separate yourself from them. Because at the end of the day, when you go down, it's only going to be you. It ain't going to be them. It's going to be you. You. Especially if you have a name out there, they're going to call your name. Not your team name. Your name. You get blamed for it. So just keep it in mind, people. Or people that's in the industry or everyday life. Stay focused, man. Just, you know, I don't know. Anyway, it's your boy Zaz, representing the PLR show. Hit me up at myspace.com slash O-Z-Z-I-E hype. Or check out my phone call Nikki in the R-S-E-K-Y Indian. And that's it. Call, like I always say, never, never, never give up. Live life to the fullest. Enjoy your life and smile because it's good for the soul. Everybody have a good day. Check out Lisa Livy 1 for all their hip-hop cats. Yo, check out to some of that R&B. Also, Airto. Big up to Devin 73, Seven Whole Days, Mad White Jamaican, Ed Bassmaster. Just everybody out there. Um, the young girls that's 13 years old and under, which is um, Jessica Sanchez, Jasmine V, and Thea McGee. Check them out on YouTube. Definitely support them. I'm out. Stay focused.